Welcome back, folks, to the channel. We're doing box number two of our early preview of Stating Club Chrome Hobby 2022. If you haven't watched the first video for the first box, go check that one out. We uh, had a little bit of a surprise, uh, a pleasant surprise in that one that uh, normally doesn't happen. Um, but uh, that was definitely nice, and we're going to see if the second box is equally as nice except i would like to have a bobby Witt and a julio base or better card so i could send it into psa with my next submission of 100 plus cards going in a couple of days so uh stay tuned for that as well i know people love those psa submission videos um we will be doing our biggest submission um it'll be like our, our seventh submission i think and uh, this one's going to be over 100 cards. Easily over 100 cards. It's a very thick pack. That's a very thick pack. What's up with that one? So, let's get going here. Six cards per pack. we got 14 packs. You know the deal. It's all about the photography. Oh, yeah. We didn't even pull a Mike Trout out of the last box. I saw this earlier. It's kind of an interesting picture. I wouldn't say it's his best picture, but... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and we got our first insert coming in here from uh, George Springer. Yaz for the PC. Nice look with the uh, the city unis there, the uh, popsicle unis we call them. I'm not a huge fan of those. If you're a Giants fan, let me know what you think because I do not like those. Um, so yeah, first insert there. We got a little shorted on the inserts, I guess. Supposed to be you know, 11 inserts or 14 inserts. One, I don't know. I think we got short in an insert on the last box, but I didn't care because we got an extra of something we weren't supposed to. Zach Short, Ryan Howard, Reggie Jackson. Put him in the A's this time. Sometimes in there is a Yankee. Hey, there we go. Wander Franco beam team. That might be worth sending in. I'm a sucker for certain cards to get sent in that one is not numbered but i like that one all right that's our thick pack which i'm going to hold off on probably just has an extra card sometimes that happens but uh yeah so we got this early hopefully uh i know some of you guys have been watching the uh blaster boxes that have been out for a couple days now i've been seeing videos of those is a refractor Goldschmidt? No. They're so shiny, sometimes it's hard to tell. Greg Maddox on the Trophy Hunters. Gosh, how many trophies did he have, this guy? Four Cy Youngs. Okay. Only one World Series. That still seems surprising. They were, it seems like they were in it all the time. Back-to-back -back Detroit <laughs> pitchers. But yeah, big fan of Chrome. Um... One of the few sets I do build, I try to build every year. If you're interested in trading, join our Discord. We got a few folks there that are set builders, so uh, try to help each other out as much as possible. We do have a parallel or auto in here. Steve Carlton warming up there. Spencer Torkelson on the base rookie there. Nice looking card. Oh, we have a blue behind him. What's the blue to? Who is it? Oh, it's the wrong Mariner. Kelnick. Kelnick. Trolliness Kelnick. Oh, man. That would have been nice if it was your teammate or if last year this had been you. But you know what? Kelnick had a good spring. Maybe he's going to turn it around this year. I know his value has gone up after Gunn being down in the dumps last year as being one of the worst hitters in the league. But this is... Numbered to 199. These are the new blue parallels that came out as part of this year, along with the um, the green to 99. So we got some new parallels this year. Jazz McCormick, Harrison Bader. So darn close. Expecting to get at least. Um, I would say at least three numbered cards out of this. Not in this pack, though. Juan Soto. 
Martinez, Hunter Green, Key Brian Hayes, IKF, and Jesse Winker, who was our usual troll for the Mariners in Update. But now it's going to be Kalanick. Another thick pack. I don't know why those... There's no relics in this, so I don't know. It could just be the way the cards are bent. But again, 400 card checklist. Hoping to get a base Julio. Wow, Buster's still in this, huh? Alright, I'll take that for the PC. No complaints there. They have here Luis Gill. Another insert. Austin Riley. Jorge Soler. And AJ Alexi, which again, not refractors. I thought we had two refractors in the last box. So we haven't hit one of those yet. They can sneak by if you're not paying attention, though. Stephen Kwan. Nice. Shout out to B&B &B, B &B cards. Sorry if I got the name wrong, but I saw you guys open your box up and you got that Stephen Kwan auto. That was pretty slick. Julio Urias. You know, I haven't even seen any of the parallel of the uh, image variations. Let's see. We got this might be our auto. No, but it is a refractor. Tommy Edmond. Refractor. All right, not the name we wanted, but and some of these are again. They got a hundred cards more in this checklist, so you're gonna get a couple of guys who maybe just, as they say, had a cup of coffee in the major leagues. Four hundred card checklist is pretty rough when you're only getting whatever it is, eighty four cards in the um, eighty four cards in the box. So I will be ripping a lot of the blaster boxes once I get a hold of them. I haven't found any out here yet. But that's what it's going to take to complete this set. Shohei, nice, nice beam team Otani. His value has gone through the roof since the WBC. You'll be seeing a couple of his cards in my PSA submission as well. Williams, Montero, Rendon. So still, no Julio, no Otto, no Bobby. See here, <laughs> JD Martinez and that. Oh, here we go. We got a we got a wave refractor, which is one out of a hundred and I forget some crazy. It's the hardest odds of any parallel, other than obviously, um, you know, super fractor or red. David Ortiz. We'll come back to this one. Joe Morgan. D Train made the checklist. That's cool. D Train. The Montreal Willis. Lars Newt. <laughs> I mean, okay. Look at that picture of Newt Bar. That's great. He may not like that card. You got a kind of a derpy look there, but that's a pretty cool card. Again, you're only going to find that in Stadium Clone Crow. That's a good one. Looks good, too. I might, I might send that in. Newt, Newt Bar, I like him. And he's... Uh, he got another. He was another guy who got a nice bump after the WBC playing on Japan's team. So sold an auto of his for 180 bucks, I think. All right, Sanchez Torkelson on Team of the Future. I like that one. Verdugo. Okay, that's not numbered. I'm trying to see if any of these are Verdugo. Brian Reynolds. Isn't this a guy who doesn't want to play on the Pirates? Willie Stargell, old school pirate. All right, I wonder if this could be an auto, but I don't think I don't think they have autos on that that wave parallel. But let's see. We got. Let's see if we have something in here. Ozuna, Yepes, Rizzo. Trey Turner, there's another guy whose value's blown up. Matt Brash, McCarthy, still no Bobby or Julio or Wander even, right? 
yeah. Still a couple big names missing from this. Maybe, oh, we got maybe a blue in here. Let's see. Stevenson. Edmund without the refractor. Oh, there we go. Julio, be auto, be auto, be auto. Oh, there we go. I'll take that. It's a nice one. Destiny insert. Oh, there with our auto. Nick Plummer. Womp womp. Hey, but it's a rookie. It's a position player. At least that's something. This Julio. They're not refractors. Yeah. All right. So on card. And that's not a parallel. So just a base on card auto of Nick Plummer, who I don't know anything about. Mets fans, let me know. Is he worth keeping? How old is he? Oh, he's really old. It's crazy now looking at Oh, he's born in 96. He's too old. Well, in the rookie prospect game, yeah, that might be too old. Altuve and Miles Straw. So, nothing crazy there. So, we got our auto. I don't know if we're going to get lucky and pull a second one like we did in the first box. Let's see what we got here. We got Freeman, Kirby, Castellanos. Is that? There's a Bobby Witt. Okay. Take a Bobby insert. I guess <laughs> there's Plummer again. And Kepler, so is that Bobby? It's not a parallel. These look like they should be parallels. All right. So we're getting the Julio and the Wits on the inserts, but not on the base. And not on the auto, which is where we all want them, right? We got one more parallel in here. So we will end up getting our two numbered cards which is kind of the expectation Lade Devers we're gonna have a green Yaz on the refractor there's a Shohei nice looking Shohei and a Matsui there so let's go to the green first oh it's gonna be an insert green who we're gonna have here it's gonna be a a vet because of the chasing Chasing the trophies, and it's my favorite guy ever. <laughs> Altuve. Uh, Y'all know I get my fair number of Altuve cards. 92 out of 99. I'm just not a fan of the Astros. Sorry. So there's our second numbered card, and then our extra tough hit is going to be this guy. Don't even tell me. Okay, it's not. I thought it was the same guy we got the auto of. Marlins. Jazz? It is Jazz. That's cool. Is that a variation? I have to check and see. It is. It's a non-numbered wave refractor, but I don't think... I'll have to check. I mean, I'll put it in the comments if it's a parallel or... Sorry, image variation. I don't see anything on there. That calls it out, but these are the um, the harder of the of the parallel poles, I think, somewhere on here. It'll say green, gold, orange, red, blah, 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 blah. wave refractor. One out of 112. So there you go. So that's going to be basically one every. What is it? 13. Like every eight boxes. Yeah, every eight boxes. So there you go. That's the extra parallel out of this box. So quick recap, we get our two refractors, which were Yaz and Tony Edmond. Nothing too crazy there. We got the Yaz. We got, let's see how they count the inserts. So Kelnick trolled us as the Mariner color match parallel to 199. And then we pulled the Altuve insert to 99. So again, getting two colored per box and then we got our answers for you know i complained about not getting a julio a wander or a bobby well we got all three as part of the insert game so i'll take that over nothing i guess and let's see we had these three inserts the altuve would make four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's supposed to be one insert or parallel per pack. So yeah, I guess we're getting the the fifteen, the fourteen, and then there's our auto of Nick Plummer, outfielder for the Mets on card base auto. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the preview. Just get, at least you got an idea of the hobby box now. Uh, check out the other video if you haven't already. We'll be doing some blaster boxes once I can get a hold of them here. I'm, I'm guessing in the next week because I'm going to be using the blaster boxes to help fill out the remaining cards I need to complete the set. If you're in, if you're interested in building the set and trading with folks, join our Discord. It doesn't cost anything. We got some set collectors in there that trade all the time. And um, yeah, give us a like. Um, give us a sub if you haven't watched the channel before. You just happen to catch it after you know doing a preview looking for stadium club hobby boxes and uh, we'd love to have you on board and uh, other than that stay tuned for a psa submission and um some more blaster boxes and part two of our experiment of sending in 33 or 35 uh base update j-rod and wit cards to psa to see how much of a profit we can make on that we'll be getting the cards back hopefully in the next week so part two of that experiment will uh, be posted soon. And as always, folks, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.